Hello. It's the 6th of December. Um, yeah, it's only been a, a week or so since we last had a chat. Um, I've been banished to the garage because uh, my husband's band is playing downstairs. It's too noisy in the house. <laughs> but I've got plenty of work to do here. But what I'd like uh, to show you is a mail call that I've had from Chris at ACS. Um, you may uh, know now that uh, Chris has deleted her channel of her own volition. Um, she closed it down. Um, her family needs more of her time and uh, she can only be commended for that. Um, I personally will miss her, uh, her photography and the quotes and, and all of the, the beauty that she brought to us and those beautiful quick vignettes. Um, I um, don't know. She may be back. She may find another way um, back at some point in the future. I certainly hope so. But um, before uh, that happened, we exchanged some seeds. And uh, these are the seeds that Chris sent to me. Um, Mostly flowers because I, I really I need flowers and we had discussed uh, <laughs> flowers I, I really need. I just don't have enough in my community garden or uh, my house garden. So she sent me a package of florist sunflowers. They get to be about five feet tall. They're pollen free. Uh, so you like to cut them for vases and displays, which I thought was really nice. She knows my passion for black flowers, um, all things dark in the garden. I like uh, my hot colors too, the oranges, yellows, and reds. So a black beauty poppy found its way to me. Thank you, Chris, again. Um, she has ordered some seeds from Higgledy Garden and uh, they're based in the UK. That's where we got the black scabiosa seeds back in black. Um, I did manage to save uh, some seeds from ours uh, that I grow, uh, grew here. Um, I don't know if they're viable. They don't look like the ones that Chris sent me. So we have uh, kind of exchanged those. I, I've sent some of the ones she sent me back to her because hers didn't, um, didn't germinate at all. Mine did, but I don't think I got uh, viable seed from them. So. Fingers crossed next year, we do have some seed. Perhaps it is meant to be. Uh, Higgled the Garden, yes, um, cornflowers. Now, these are a black cornflower here, we think. Um, and this is a blue and black mix. So one way or the other, we can tag these little ones and save seed from those. Dahlia seeds. I have never planted dahlias from seeds. I'm a, you know, I save my tubers, but that's what I'm really, really looking forward to. Um, another Chris from Pacific Northwest Gardener, she's a massive dahlia and tomato crazy woman. And uh, I'll put her link uh, to her channel uh, in the description below. If you don't follow her already, uh, do check her out. She plants dahlias from seed and I didn't even know you could do that until last year. So. Thank you, Chris from Pacific Northwest Gardener and ACS for those. Oh, and more poppies. So, of course, I love to cook a bread seed poppy. Why not? I mean, if I can get these to grow at the community garden, uh, we have a perennial section. So I'm thinking maybe we could put some of these in there uh, because they are self-seeding annuals. So they'll, they'll come back. Uh, not technically a perennial. And these I've had my eye on for ages. The Pandora poppy, it's even kind of the same color as my hoodie. And those are from Baker Creek. So thank you so much, Chris, um, if you do see this. Um, yeah, that's just fabulous. So um, one thing I was uh, kind of thinking about uh, for a new tag, it being tis the season to be jolly and what have you, um, as I was planning, uh, we're having two Christmas dinners this year. One with the kids, 
uh, it can't be on Christmas Day, and then just one for my husband and myself on Christmas Day. Um, and I was kind of planning, you know, maybe doing some microgreens and we can, you know, do that kind of thing. So I guess my tag is, what would you have for your Christmas dinner? What is your, what's your favorite food? Is it the roast or is it a condiment or an accompaniment? Like, uh, is the stuffing just the best thing ever about the turkey? Or if you don't have turkey, what do you have? What are your favorite things? Or is it the mince tarts? What is your favorite Christmas speciality? And if you don't celebrate Christmas, but you have an enforced holiday with the rest of us, um, how do you feast on your days off? So I guess those tags will go out to, I'd like to tag Kelly, uh, at Kelly's Kitchen Garden, because I know she's a fantastic cook. Um, I'd also like to, um, to tag Ms. Lally. She has a fabulous kitchen. She's a great cook. I've only just started following her channel. Um, you should check her out. Of course, uh, the link will be in the description below. And last but certainly not least, and in fact, it was kind of Mike at Mike's Allotment that got me thinking about this. Because I see him in his garden, I see him driving around town, but I haven't seen him in the kitchen yet. So Mike, Mike's allotment, um, what is your favorite thing for Christmas? Even if you don't cook it, and somebody else does, and you go there every year, what is it? What's your favorite Christmas speciality? Thanks for sticking me this far. Um, yeah, so we will uh, see you later. Thanks for joining me.